everyone, uh, today is October 15th, 2019, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. Okay, so uh, just a few announcements. Uh, today is actually the final day where you can book uh, the Kerr reading uh, for the discounted price for $11.11. Um, you know, the uh, regular price is $33.33 because um, I'm, I'm coming to realize that I'm spending a lot of time for those particular readings and if you have a book to reading um, just know it's going to take some time um, since so many of you have uh, purchased that particular uh, career reading um, I need time guys okay <laughs> I didn't expect so many people uh, to book that reading and so if you can give me uh, a little bit of time to get back to you on those um, then that is really appreciated um, and also um, I have uh, you know you know sent out uh, like a feed of a photo um, of a tarot card uh, that me and my son has been uh, working on and so thank you all you know for commenting um, and you know and just liking uh, you know the artwork uh, that I'm producing um, and my son is so helpful you know um, you know all the little 3d objects I really need like the cups the pentacles the swords and the staff um, he's actually uh, rendering those in 3D, and so uh, I would take those objects into Photoshop and, you know, and Photoshop the, the images, you know, for each particular uh, meaning, and so um, it's a nice little uh, project that I get to do with my son, and I really can't wait um, to, uh, you know, have that particular deck published, so my idea is to you know, create the deck, um, you know, create one dummy, you know, like a, like a beta tester deck, uh, to kind of see if, uh, the cardstock is good, you know, if it's bendy, uh, can it shuffle, because all of those matter to me. <laughs> I have so many tarot card decks, and, um, the one that I really like is actually a basic paper stock believe it or not, you know, um, you know, something like this, <clears throat> because like, you know, you can uh, shuffle it, um, you know, it has the right pressure, I guess, um, you know, and also, you know, with my original Oracle deck with my Scorpio Moon Intuition cards, this, uh, actual cardstock is nice. It's really smooth. Um, you know, and it feels good. It's not like too big. It's not too small. Um, and it just feels nice. I just like, uh, like this paper quality. And I know that, um, you know, you have something like this that is really thick, um, which is durable and stuff. And, and I'm pretty sure that the graphics will look really good on this, uh, particular cardstock, but <clears throat> I'm not sure guys, you know, um, see, do you see that? It's just, it's very difficult to shuffle, and honestly, you know, for Tarot, it's kind of like an everyday type use card, so, um, I'm going to be thinking about it, but I really feel like, you know, I'm, I might, uh, just go with this, uh, particular card stock, you know, um, but I, I'll think about it. You know, I kind of want the gloss on it to make it shine because it looks so pretty, um, but we'll see. So, um, let's see what else. 
I think that's it. Um, I've gotten a lot of feedback from those uh, who are in separation from your masculine, um, where they're in a karmic situation. And, um, you know, I rel realize that, you know, uh, you know, a good uh, majority of, uh, you know, the collective that is following me on my channel um, is still going through those karmic issues. Whereas, you know, there is a wave, you know, where they're coming into union with your divine counterpart. Now, guys, I have been doing a lot of personal readings lately, and it looks like within a month, you guys are going to be together. Okay, so, um, you know, even if union isn't happened for you, you know, as I am, you know, producing uh, these videos on a daily basis, just know that time is fluid, okay, and the energy is here. It's just, it happens differently on different timelines for everyone, okay? It really depends on how much you really worked on yourself, okay, and your divine counterpart, like how much, you know, healing work have you done? Okay, and that is determined on, you know, when you guys can come into union. Okay, so I just wanted to put that out there. So, <clears throat> with that being said, let, let me go ahead and get started with today's reading. So today, I'd like to start off with the Animal Oracle Spirit Messages. And I would like to pull one message for the Divine Masculine. And one message for the Divine Feminine. What is the overall energy of this Masculine Collective Please Spirit? And what is the overall energy of this Divine Feminine? What spirit animal are you today? <laughs> <coughs> Divine Masculines, Cat Spirit, claim your independence. And guys, this is really beautiful. You know, this Masculine is, is working on their stability, from what I can feel. And they're learning to claim their independence if they were codependent on a karmic situation. So this is actually a continuation from the energies that I was channeling from yesterday. Okay. And Feminines. Mouse spirit, tend to the small things. Oh, look at that. And we have here number 40. So you two are also working on your stability and feminines, you know, don't look at, at the big, you know, like task, you know, start small, you know, and work your way up. That is what I'm feeling. Wow. <laughs> that is so cute. Cat and mouse, you know, runner chaser. <laughs> I just realized that guys like runner and chaser you know <laughs> that is so cute okay so <clears throat> let me go ahead and pull some numerology uh, cards and see what is of uh, the current situation dealing with this masculine when it comes to their cat spirit when they're claiming their independence and this mouse spirit with the feminine into the small things. Guys, I can't get over it. That is so cute. Cat and mouse. <laughs> Come from okay. Hold on one second. Alright, guys. I, I still don't know how to turn off the answer machine. Honestly, I, I don't like answering my office phone. As a matter of fact, I don't. <laughs> I just have it as, you know, um, a landline just in case, like, cell phones go down and stuff. But I don't answer my, even if it's my business phone, I don't answer it. I think I, I'm done, you know, with answering the phone for that, so... If you really wanted, you know, something, you're going to leave a voicemail message, and that's how I take it. If they're not going to leave a voicemail message, you know, oh well, they're not that serious. That's how I look at things, you know. So, <clears throat> Divine Masculines, 
Oh, look at this self-love. This masculine is claiming their independence, learning self-love, activating their heart. And look at that. I feel like, you know, they're ready to communicate, you know, to their feminines. I really feel like they're really working on themselves at this time. Okay. And a feminines. Oh, look at this. We have your patience. I know you hate that word, feminines. Like how, how like it's a, a, a broken record. Like, oh, it's the P word, patience. <laughs> you know, I really feel like, you know, you know, you're, you're trying to balance yourself. Okay. Working on the small things. Yes. Being patient, you know, but you know, you're geared for that. Okay, that's the feeling I'm getting. But soon enough, this masculine, okay, is ready to open up their heart and communicate, you know, their love to you, feminine. So just be patient. Again, you know, I just feel like, you know, it's divine timing, okay, for this collective. So let me go ahead and pull some more. Let me go ahead and pull some uh, romance angels and see. How does this masculine currently feel for the feminine? And how does this feminine currently feel towards their divine masculine? How are you guys feeling for each other? We have deception, okay? Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And, you know, what I'm getting is that, you know, divine masculines have been putting up a mask towards their feminine. You know, possibly, yes, they could have lied to you. You know, they might have been uh, deceitful, not really revealing their truth. But honestly, I really feel like this mask, okay, is about their true feelings and their emotions towards their feminine, okay? That is what I'm feeling. And also, we have your unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And guys, you know, what I'm feeling with this is that this masculine could not really truly love their feminine because they have not learned self-love, okay? You have to love yourself first in order to love anyone. You know, it doesn't have to be the feminine. It could be anyone. If your masculine, okay, has not really worked on themselves and healed themselves and know what their true worth is and, you know, and uh, was settling for relationships that were toxic, that is something that this masculine has come to realize, okay? That is what I'm seeing so far. And for feminines, we have here forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, okay? So, feminines, I feel like you are forgiving and learning, you know, yourself and your masculine in the process by learning patience, okay? And attending to the small things, okay? That is what I'm seeing. You know, when you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present situation, and I feel like you're tending, you know, to yourself, feminines, okay? I feel like, you know, you know, this feminine is now running from the situation. And now this masculine, okay, uh, you know, is chasing. <laughs> that is what I'm feeling. Because before, you know, they were, they were trying to uh, stand their guard, okay? And being uh, deceitful, you know, not really showing their feminine that they truly love them, you know? But, you know, this masculine is, is claiming their independence. Because I feel like this masculine was in a codependent, toxic, you know, relationship with uh, karmic people, okay? And they were attached to that. And, you know, they realized that that wasn't love, okay? And they're learning this self-love now, guys, okay? Now, the truth is being revealed to this masculine about their true emotions. And feminines, you know, you're just learning to forgive your masculine, okay? And it was through patience and learning. That is what I'm seeing. And forgiving your masculine for, for being deceitful, for not showing their love towards you. Okay, that is what I'm seeing. And also, stay optimistic about your love life. 
positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so again for divine feminines you know you have to stay optimistic about your love life and or at least that's how you're feeling towards your masculine and you're thinking positively about the situation you're learning to have faith faith forgiveness you know patience okay learning you know from from the past from what i can feel and you know i feel like you know you already you know have like this general concept of you know this love that you have with your masculine but now it's like putting more focus on the smaller details for you feminines okay that is what i'm seeing so far so let me go ahead and dive in into the tarot and see what is uh, the general uh, overall energies between you two okay what is currently going on energetically between this masculine and this feminine collective what is currently going on with this masculine and feminine collective how are you guys feeling for each other how are you thinking what is it that you guys want to do in the physical and what are the actions that is going to happen between this divine counterpart <clears throat> please reveal to me any challenge blocks or obstacles there. and what is the outcome okay and i'm going to use this as a clarifying deck to clarify the energies that want to come through for today Overall, all we have here, um, the Empress, you know, I really feel like, you know, Divine Feminines, you are standing in your full power and your truth and your integrity. And um, you are very desirable from what I can feel. You know, this masculine really sees you as a mother, uh, a caregiver, someone who is very nurturing and as someone who they love you know to be with on a very intimate level you know they really see you as someone who is really creative okay and you know you you got it going on okay you are shining in your divine light from what i can feel and you know and it's clarified here with <laughs> the queen of wands all right guys I, i'm taking this two ways so <laughs> The first initial reaction I got was that this is the feminine and this is the karmic, okay? That is what I'm feeling. And, you know, overall, this is the overall energy and this is a clarifying energy. So, you know, this could be two, you know, counterparts or, or two uh, feminine energy. One is very intuitive, okay? One is filled with passion and desire. You know, this is the more lusty, uh, you know, feminine <clears throat> who is just, you know, operating off of sex, okay? Sex, power, you know, um, strong will, desire, you know, um, any of uh, like the sins that we have, you know, that is the feeling that I, I, I'm feeling from this in here. This feminine, okay, is is very powerful. <clears throat> she has all the elements, okay? And I really feel like this is the divine feminine. But, you know, if, if I were to clarify this energy, I feel like, you know, this divine masculine really sees their feminine who is, you know, like a business uh a business owner, an entrepreneur, you know, someone who is a go-getter, um, who is doing well for, for, you know, themselves, and who is very intuitive, you know, and, and has all the qualities of all the queens, okay? They really see you as someone who, um, 
who doesn't just uh, stick around, okay? Like, you're constantly busy doing things, constantly, you know, creating uh, new ideas, uh, you know, and projects and things like that. And they really find you very desirable, okay, feminines? That is what I'm seeing. And if you look at here, <laughs> this, you know, feminines, I feel like this is you, okay? You could be, you know, stressed out about your masculine. Possibly this feminine can't sleep well at night, you know, and I can attest for that. Guys, I try to sleep at 12, okay? I try is the technical word. I probably don't go to sleep till 3, okay? Between 2 to 3 o'clock in the morning. I wake up at 6 in the morning. Okay, so that's like a couple of hours. Then I try to go back to sleep. Usually that takes about an hour. And then I try to sleep, but then I have people calling me from, you know, 6 o'clock in the morning up until I'm trying to wake up around 12. <laughs> Actually, it's like 10 to 11 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, um, you know, if back in my day, my nickname was Sleeping Beauty, because I would sleep. I, I need to have seven hours of sleep and I haven't been getting it. And um, I, I really don't like this feeling. I want to sleep, guys. Okay? <laughs> I want to sleep. And, um, you know, I tried to turn off my cell phone, but I put it on vibration just in case because like even today you know my uh, son's uh, school teacher had messaged me because they have like um, testing for tomorrow and he was excused from the testing and so you know I had to respond back to her to let her know that I got the message and you know uh, aside from that you know I get you know a lot of phone calls throughout the day you know namely over here and on my cell phone and it's a lot guys okay it's a lot and um, I'm just tired. I want to sleep. I want to sleep, okay? Uh, and this is me. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of you feminines, but this is me. That's what I look like at night. I can't sleep. If I had my masculine, even though he snores, I, I, think, um, I think that would help. <laughs> Honestly, that would help so much, you know, if I could cuddle up to my masculine, you know, because he's so warm and cuddly. He's my, my snow bunny. <laughs> All right. Anyway, and then here we have six of pentacles. Okay. I really feel like, you know, for this feminine, you're really thinking about your masculine, about how imbalanced this connection is. You know, you see your masculine giving out handouts you know, and, you know, they're focused towards the karmic, okay? But really, you just want balance from your masculine, okay? You're not wanting a handout. You just want their energy. You just want them to turn their head, okay, and look at you. Sorry, guys. I'm looking at it backwards. They want, you know, you know, feminines, you just want the attention of your masculine, okay? That is what I'm seeing. And you feel like your masculine isn't really focused on this connection. But, you know, I really feel like this masculine is, is really learning more about themselves, learning through karmic situations. And, you know, from, from what I've seen so far, this masculine does love you, okay, feminines? That is what I'm seeing. And also we have here the Hermit, okay? I feel like this could be both divine counterparts. Um, you know, especially the masculines. The masculines, they're using this time to be in solitude, okay? They're really, you know, doing some really deep reflection, you know, about their self-love, okay? This deception. Because why? They were wearing a false self mask in this relationship and this unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, you know, and this masculine, you know, was wondering why are they putting up a mask? Why are they blocking their feminine, you know, but I really feel like they've come to terms that it was because of self-love. This masculine did not learn to love themselves first, let alone, you know, any other karmic person that, you know, they tried to um, you know, give their time, focus, and attention to, 
okay and as they were giving you know towards the karmic situation they realized that they weren't really receiving they too were not receiving that reciprocity that they were looking for in the karmic you know uh, dynamic so this masculine is learning to claim their independence guys okay you know how many lives does a, a cat have <laughs> How many times can a masculine have, you know, as far as chances with their feminine? You know, keep in mind, guys, the whole runner-chaser dynamic. How many times have your masculine came in and out of your life? Count how many times, you know. If you reach nine times, you know, then, then you're almost there, okay? Because I feel like it's coming to a completion. And then also we have here Ten of Swords. This masculine feels really bad, guys, okay? They know that they have ended things with their feminines and they weren't, uh, you know, you know, acting, uh, you know, with their full, you know, integrity from what I can feel. And they know that they stabbed the heart of their feminine. But in return, as they did that, they too have also, you know, have gotten stabbed in the heart from their karmic situation. So do you see, it goes full circle from what I can feel, but you know, like this is the end. I feel like, you know, this has already happened. This masculine is in an awareness of their actions and situations from what I can feel. And they now see the light guys, okay? They are now ready, you know, to pick themselves up, okay? And really move forward to this energy. You know, they really see that this relationship with their feminine you know has always you know been like filled with you know love you know joy happiness peace youthfulness you know you give your masculine that energy from what i can feel and i see that this masculine you know has been planting their seeds and they're just waiting okay waiting for the harvest so they can have a new beginning so guys you know i really see that you know the whole uh like you know energy is here but you know i'm coming to see that this masculine now sees their true worth and they're learning to love themselves okay they're claiming their independence to be less codependent okay and they're, they're learning what real love is i feel like this masculine did not know what true love was okay that is what i'm feeling so let's see here how how is this masculine currently thinking of their feminine we have here the hangman okay and it's clarified here with the high priestess you know what i'm feeling here is that this masculine you know had to take a pause out of this dynamic okay and they learn to let go okay they learn to let go of their divine feminine who was uh spiritual all-knowing you know who who was their you know true divine counterpart from what i can feel you know because i feel like this masculine you know was very intimidated by this connection you know they they were scared guys okay that's why you know there was some deception here when it came uh, to this masculine because this feminine knew too much okay you are the high priestess like you can see right through your masculine okay feminines that is what i'm feeling and your masculine could have said you know i don't love you feminine or I didn't feel that way or you know I want to you know uh, stay with the karmic uh, situation whatever the case may be there is unrequited love for this masculine and this masculine has been thinking about who their feminine is and how do they really feel for their feminine okay they have become enlightened to the situation okay that that is what i'm seeing so far they needed to take a pause or a break to really find out like what is in their heart okay what is what is this connection for what i can feel and this masculine okay i feel like has realized who you are feminine okay but it took you know uh, like a separation for them to figure you out that is what i'm getting so, how is this masculine feeling towards their feminine? 
we have here Ten of Pentacles. And let's clarify here with death. All right. This masculine, okay, has gone through a transformation. You know, do you see like all these people down here? This is their karma, their karmic, you know, situation, karmic people that they have, you know, gone towards, you know, instead of their feminine, you know, from I can feel. And that, that was the result, okay? Their action to choose the karmic situation, and here we are, here is the result of their actions, okay? That is what I'm feeling. But also, you know, you know, I feel like this masculine has gone through a lot of karma, okay? I really do. And now they, they see the, the truth. You know, they are uh, coming to a new beginning to this idea, okay, of uh, this masculine coming towards their feminine, okay, for something long term. Instead of like, you know, like this energy down here where there's crying, heartache, loss, sorrow, this masculine, okay, I feel like this is the phoenix rising from the ashes. And it's a rebirth of this a divine masculine for a new long-term beginning with their feminine guys okay look how you know a lively you know this scene looks with the dogs and you know the people and you know like this strong uh you know a stable building that they're living in like you know, and, and here's this masculine, okay, you know, possibly looking or reflecting on, you know, their family, their legacy, okay? These are the kids that have grown up, and this masculine, okay, has lived their life. You know, your masculine is wanting to reclaim themselves, okay? Hence, claiming their independence, okay? That is what I'm feeling. This masculine knows what love is. Okay, and I feel like they want to change and transform and they want to come back correct to their feminine guys. I really feel like this masculine is ready to to do this with their feminine. Okay, that is the feeling I'm getting. They want this long term stability with their divine counterpart and that's how they're feeling. Because seriously guys, you know, they, they have been thinking about it. They have been thinking about you, who you are, and, and what you bring to the table. You are truly amazing to this masculine. They see you as, as long-term, okay? They see you as someone that you they could be with for a long time, okay? Not some some a short-term, temporary person. You, you bring stuff to the table, okay? You complete your masculine, from I can feel. So, what does this masculine want to do in the connection towards you, feminine? We have here Eight of Swords, and it's clarified with a Hierophant. This masculine wants to release you from your fear, okay? Now, I had seen that earlier, okay, guys? Here is the feminine, okay? Feminine, who is fearing, okay? Like, stressed out worried about like their masculine not returning like what is going on what's taking you so long you know that kind of a vibe right <laughs> and here we are this masculine wants to release their feminine from their thoughts okay of feeling stuck and trapped you know in their mind about their masculine coming forward okay and offering him a, a commitment okay I feel like your masculine wants to communicate to you feminines, you know, for something that is traditional, something that is long term. And this masculine knows that they have to change before they can offer this to you. They know this. And I feel like this masculine has uh, really spiritually awakened or evolved uh, into this, this higher learning or this knowledge. Okay, you know, possibly your masculine uh, could be researching about esoteric, you know, knowledge, you know, the spiritual, uh, you know, um, essence of like what a true relationship is. I feel like this masculine really did not know. 
they didn't know what what uh, a relationship is in terms of what love is okay if your masculine was stuck in tradition okay of being with a family because it was the right thing to do because they have invested their time you know uh with a karmic a partner because they had kids involved you know this and that i really feel like you know they, they're coming to awareness that that isn't what life is all about okay and i really feel like you know feminine your masculine is going to release you of this energy okay because that they're coming into their awareness they're spiritually awakened to this connection that is what i'm feeling you know i really see your masculine wants long term with you that's how they're feeling okay guys that is what i'm seeing so what are the actions is this masculine going to take towards their feminine we have here four of swords okay and it's clarified here with strength this is beautiful you know if your masculine has been in separation with you feminines i feel like they're they're now finding the courage okay to get out of you know mourning okay of uh you know like really you know thinking you know because there there has been this separation you know they've been healing from their heartbreak from what i can hear uh, f uh feel and it's all about their truth you know your masculine was not up front with you feminines okay because there was deception and you know they they possibly told you that they didn't love you okay or there wasn't enough love or they decided to choose a karmic person and they realized that you know they they chose it for the wrong reasons okay feminines that is what i'm feeling and this masculine has really meditated and thought about it and now they're trying to find that strength to really come correct okay i feel like the divine is really working with your masculine bringing them uh this uh, spiritual awareness you know to to the masculine that is what i'm saying they're being shown you know through the divine who you are you don't have to do anything feminines you've already done enough for i can feel all you need to do is you need to be patient and forgive your masculine and learn from the situation and just stay optimistic okay because your masculine was the one who needed to really work on themselves but i see that feminines you had to work on yourselves in a different way by learning the patience okay that is what i'm seeing so <clears throat> what is the challenge blocker obstacle in this divine connection oh look here we have your ace of cups and it's clarified with the star okay the challenge here is offering this new beginning in love and having hope or renewal or you know of you know this love connection okay finding peace you know and a serenity you know and i feel like you know maybe both divine counterparts lost hope and faith in the connection and i feel like that was a block you know because this masculine you know has has been putting up a mask they have been a deceitful you know they have told their feminine that you know this the love that they shared with their masculine was one-sided but you know since this masculine is now learning self-love i feel like they're changing okay and they're breaking free from whatever that they have thought you know in the past about themselves and about their feminines that is one feeling that's why i see her strength guys they have really thought about it this is the action that this masculine is going to take okay this is the action that this masculine is willing to take and this was the block okay when it was there all along that is what i'm seeing so what can we expect from this masculine in the near future we have three of pentacles and it's clarified with five of swords this masculine okay is wanting to work on uh, you know this situation with their feminine and the karmic okay this masculine has matured from what i can feel you know not completely because i don't see any kings up in this mess over here <laughs> i see the hierophant I mean that's good enough that that's a spiritual awareness of this masculine okay but what i'm feeling is that in the physical in the 3d this masculine 
since he has become awakened I really feel like this masculine is really want to speak their truth to both the feminine and the karmic okay and not really making a decision they're, they're choosing themselves they're learning to love themselves first they're choosing to be independent no longer being codependent on a person place or situation i feel like this masculine okay uh you know has has evolved you know to the next level okay that is what i'm seeing and you know feminines you know that's why you know spirit is asking you you know to have of patience in this connection okay that is what i'm saying that's why you know union is like you know taking a little bit of time it's because your masculine is still going through their their healing and their growth and their ascension from what i can see here and um <clears throat> You need to tend to the small things, okay, feminines? Just work on the small things, you know? Work, work on you. That is all I can see for this feminine, you know? You know, stay optimistic, feminines. And I know that, you know, you have been doing this all along. And your patience might be wearing thin or it's already been overdue. <laughs> you're like forget it you know and once you you learn patience you learn to let go okay because at that point when you learn to love yourself first you release attachment and guess what when you release attachment you are filled with love that's how you learn to love yourself first that is how you know what true love is because you come first okay that is what I'm feeling so far. So this is actually a really good message that came through. You know, it's actually showing, you know, divine masculine side, you know, about like what is true love to this masculine. I feel like this masculine now gets it. Okay. That is what I'm seeing. So let me go ahead and pull some lover's oracle and see what message does this masculine want to I guess communicate to their feminine what is it that this masculine want their feminine to know in this now moment what does this masculine want their feminine to know in this now moment what is it that they want to let you know feminines okay one more shuffle what does this masculine want to let this feminine know So, feminines, what do you want your masculine to know in this now moment, okay? Feminines, what do you want your masculine to know in this now moment? What is it that you want to let them to know? What does this feminine want their masculine to know? What is it that you want to let your masculine to know? Okay, one for one. I think that should do it. All right. So, masculines, you want to let your feminine know to trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Wow. That is really beautiful. So, feminines, you know, masculine is really asking you to trust and the connection and the situation that your masculine is going through for this transformation. Why? Because this masculine is learning to change and transform. What are they transforming? Okay. So that they can have the Ten of Pentacles with you because that is how they're feeling towards you. Okay, feminines? That is what I'm seeing. And look at this. Your masculine wants you to trust them. Okay. You know, transformation occurs through acceptance. And once you uh, accept the current situation, everything will transform. Okay. Automatically. That is what I'm seeing. And that's beautiful. And the feminines, what is the message you want to share with your masculine? <laughs> time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. <laughs> 
Oh, this is a common theme for feminines, right? Patience. You know that Guns N' Roses song? Just a little patience. Yeah. <laughs> Some more patience. I'm like, man, like, I know feminines. You're like, man, how much patience do we need? And this time, you are trying too hard. Like, how much time do you need, Divine Masculines? That is what this feminine is saying. <laughs> like it give it time okay I'll give it time okay I'll give you enough time that you need so that you can work on the situation I am going to trust you divine masculine you need uh, for me to trust you okay I'll trust you so that transformation can happen automatically because I trust in my divine counterpart okay that is what I'm feeling oh, feminines you guys are funny you know you're telling your masculine you're trying too dang hard you know, like, okay, I'll, I'll give it time. You know, you have all the time in the world, masculine, while I do me, okay? Because I'm patient and I'm divine. And, um, you know, and, and you're staying optimistic, feminines. That is what I'm saying. You know, because you're a true divine feminine. You are not karmic, okay? The karmics, you know, they're very impatient. You know, they're very nasty. They probably have some choice words, okay? And, you know, they probably give your masculine a hard time, okay? So just know that, feminines. You know, you have so much patience. It is like uncanny, okay? Because why? You love your masculine unconditionally. No matter what, okay? You have that love for them, you know, and the patience to go through this twin flame journey. That is what I'm seeing, so... Wow, I really hope you enjoyed today's reading. Thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And, you know, today it's all about Divine Masculine's learning self love. I feel like now they finally understand what self love is. And, feminines, you're, you're just being patient with your masculine, letting them, you know, have whatever time that they need so they can heal themselves <clears throat> so that this masculine can change and transform and come back correct so that you guys can have a legacy together, okay? That is what I'm seeing, so I really hope you enjoyed today's reading. Thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes, and if uh, you would like to book a personal reading, you can visit me on my website. It is www.scorpiomoonintuition.com, and you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.